Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior V. Barl with another product review. Uh, today I managed to get my hands on uh, the brand new iPhone 5 64 gigabyte unlocked version. Now why did I choose unlocked? Because I can't stand AT&T. Uh, the money I have to pay for the service is really not worth it. Uh, I got T-Mobile and uh, I have everything unlimited for like 50 bucks I'm not endorsing them in any way it's just hey guys it's cheap <laughs> and uh, it's worth it and they're gonna be going with LTE service soon and everything so I wanted to make sure I was up to date on that uh, this is the iPhone 4 right here so I'm gonna show you guys a uh, little reflection of the microphone there. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys uh, pretty much uh, an unboxing of this uh, thing I'll be back I right, take care Bye. okay guys so I'm back again um, so yeah, it has uh, you know comes with little plastics here. Uh, the uh, adapter. I know the European ones are a little bit bigger than that. Uh, they're uh, three prong adapters, and this of course is the you know the earphones. Uh, comes with a nice traveling case, and you know all the garbage, you know the uh, booklets and all that good stuff. Now let me t uh, let me tell you now a little bit of <clears throat> the difference. This is the iPhone 4. This is the iPhone 5. Now what I like about it is if you notice it's not just uh, the iPhone 5 is not just bigger uh, you know than the iPhone 4 or 4S. Uh, it's also thinner if you look at it. I mean I don't know if you guys can really see it but it's much thinner than the uh, than the iPhone 4. Also what I noticed uh, when I was in the AT&T store it was tied down to something so I didn't really realize but the iPhone 5 is extremely light which is insane um, I have seen I know a lot of people are talking about how they don't like you know the new uh, connector right here the uh, Thunderbolt to USB but guys here let me ask you uh, let me tell you guys something when I uh, build a computer you know every time I know like within a certain amount of years I'm gonna have to replace every stinking part on that computer because everything has to be new I mean that's what technology is unless you want to be stuck with old technology so yes if you bought a docking station and all those good stuff you're gonna be a little bit disappointed but here's a perfect way to solve that they sell on eBay you can get them for like 399 uh, converters that can convert it so you can still use all your old stuff but at the same time you know uh, I would have to say I really like the fact that they went to the Thunderbolt because it's it doesn't just pull out really easily. It's you know it goes in much more uh, you know much more harder. Uh, you know to pull it out it take you know you really need to tug on it. It's it just feels like solid construction. Also the iPhone 5 what I noticed uh, it feels more durable. It's so weird to say that because it's so light. But it feels more durable than the iPhone 4. I can't even explain this because it it doesn't make sense. Usually, the heavier it is, the bulkier it is, the it just feels you know more solid. But this one, I, I don't know. Even the screen feels a bit different, uh, you know. So I would have to say you know that. Now another thing is if you noticed, uh, they have a glass back on the iPhone 4 and 4s. Uh, on this one, they only have the glass tops. And over here, it's uh, some kind of an aluminum that's anti-scratch. Another good thing about it is this right here uh, is the cameras. Now, obviously, the camera on the iPhone 5 is more superior, shooting at 8 megapixels, uh, full HD. But the thing that I like about it is it's anti-scratch as well. It's sapphire. Uh, you know, they use sapphire uh, uh, crystals and all that good stuff, whatever the hell. I don't know. I heard some crap about it. But uh, you could really tell uh, a difference, I mean, just by touching it. Uh, if you feel it, go go to any store and just yeah, give it a give it a feel up. You know, <laughs> see what's what's uh, what's with that. Now I know what people are gonna say. They're gonna say, oh, the Galaxy uh, Galaxy is good. Galaxy is that. I have so many friends of mine that had Galaxies and they all uh, by Samsung and they all reported problems of from freezing to uh, you know not being able to handle that mu uh, that many programs at once. Uh, yes, the screen is bigger, but again, quantity sucks it's about the quality the colors on this I mean I can't even begin to tell you uh, like I said go to an AT&T store or any uh, store and just you know see the colors compare them 
You'd be amazed how real to life the colors are here. The saturation is incredible. The sRGB is just freaking phenomenal on this. In fact, so much so that when I'm filming, you know, like with this thing, it just feels like I'm filming with like one of my cameras, like one of my expensive high-end cameras. So, I mean, that's how good it is. Now, the panoramic uh, feature everybody talks about, I mean, this is all in third-party applications, but I kind of like it because it tells you kind of don't go out of the line and you get really nice clear pictures out of it. It's a really nice solid phone. Uh, also, it has an A6 processor, which is incredibly fast, and I've tested it against the 4S, and I can honestly say it feels like it, it beats it by a lot, and I checked it out. They said it's about twice as fast as the 4S. Uh, Siri now is more intuitive on the 5. Uh, I don't I don't know why, but it's just like there were problems before. Now, there is a problem with the 5. It's the maps. Now, a lot of people are talking about the maps, how there's problems with it, but it's not in every location. It's just in some of them. Now, you know, uh, uh, Apple did say they were going to update it. So once they update it, you know, that that's all it is. Another thing I don't really like about it is the fact that it still maintains. I mean, I, I'm still used, you know, I like it, whatever. But it still maintains the same, you know, iOS, and you could only fit so much in a folder. But then again, you know, who buys an iPhone and, you know, doesn't jailbreak it? That's what jailbreaks are for. Jailbreaks allows you to completely manipulate what you want on the screen. So it makes the iPhone 5 a very superior phone to any phone out there in the market. I can honestly say the colors on this phone is honestly, th this is the best screen on the market. Yes, there's only, uh, you know, uh, there's a bigger real estate here, but, uh, you know, in terms of the Samsung Galaxy 3, you're having, you know, a much more screen real estate, you know, bigger, uh, you know, they have a much bigger phone. But, guys, uh, I like the feel of this. I don't like to paw at my phone and stick it to my ear like an idiot. You know, I'm sorry, but I got to say that. I know a lot of, I'm going to probably get a lot of uh, hate mail on this thing, but it's the truth. I mean, it just feels so right in your hands. Where the Galaxy feels very plasticky, um... You know what, if I had to compare the Galaxy, it feels more like a hockey puck. Uh, I was told that the 5 was going to come out, so I, I, you know, I, I mean the 4 or whatever, 5 or whatever the heck is coming out for the Galaxy. Uh, so maybe, I don't know, they'll improve on their stuff. The thing I did like about the Galaxy though, the fact that you can, you see, this thing is a 64 gigabyte, uh, you know, model. So this thing is very expensive, as you know. I mean, you can check the prices out. What I like about it is the Samsung, you can actually uh, buy a phone like a 16 gigger or a 32 gigger and then get yourself another 32. Uh, you know, they use like some kind of small SSD, like a micro SSD. So it has the option that you could actually upgrade where this does not. Also, the battery on this, I mean, I can take it out. I know how to do it. I always replace the battery with a more superior battery, which I'm not doing right now, but I will be doing it in the uh, near future. But, um, you know, that's what, uh, that's, so, I mean, for me, it, there's no difference. But with the Samsung, you just pull out the plastic piece, and then afterwards, you just yank out the battery, put in another battery, and you're good to go. So, I mean, in terms of durability, I got to give it to the iPhone. In terms of uh, color, I got to give it to the iPhone. It, in terms of speed and multitasking, definitely the iPhone 5. Now, in terms of uh, uh, durability, I, yeah, like I just said, uh, iPhone 5. But now, in terms of like uh, trying to make it grow, you know, putting in more memory and stuff like that, so you know, you, you could sort of like upgrade it on your own and all things like that, I would give it definitely to the Samsung Galaxy. Uh, part three, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I would give it to the three, uh, ga you know, obviously the Galaxy Three uh, for that one. Uh, and but it just, it just doesn't feel right in your hand. I mean, just go. If you guys never, I mean, if you guys had a Galaxy, you're probably used to it already. But if you guys, uh, I mean, give it a feel up if it's your first time. See which one you like. I recommend this highly. I mean, I really love the feel of this, but it's also the quality you're getting in this device. I mean, not to mention the App Store that has like a kajillion apps more than, than you know, the Droid. I was never a, a fan of the Droid. I had them when they first came out. Uh, I never liked Droid. I always looked at those phones as like they're trying to mimic the iPhones. And then, you know, they got better and better and better. And, you know, I love the fact that you could customize the screens. But I'm, see, the fact that I'm going to tell you why I'm not saying uh, I'm giving it to Samsung Galaxy for customization of the screens and the widgets and all that good stuff. 
you don't need that because if you jailbreak this, you could do the same exact thing. And I don't, I, I don't believe in buying an iPhone. If you want to buy an iPhone and not jailbreak it, then go ahead and get yourself a Galaxy, okay? Because that's where you're going to get the, the best iOS. I, I wouldn't say the best because it hangs up all the time, but it, it'll give you, you know, widgets and all that good stuff that you want to do and customize it yourself. But in terms of, uh, you know, in terms of, you, know, you got to jailbreak. So if you jailbreak, you guys are going to love this much, much more. Believe me, uh, once I had uh, the iPhones, I just never went back, never even cared for it. And, uh, you know, maybe that's why I'm a little bit biased, so don't cut my head off. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I never used uh, Samsung Galaxy before, so when I felt it, it just felt to me plasticky. It felt to me like it's a trash phone, and it hangs up a lot. And also what I realized is I dropped, you know, uh, I mean, uh, I dropped. <laughs> I mean, I usually do freaky stuff like that, but I'm not going to do it with this. <laughs> it cost me a bundle. But uh, if you look at YouTube, they dropped uh, uh, iPhone 5 into the water. Nothing happened. They dropped it into, uh, they put it in an oven, nothing happened. You put a Samsung Galaxy, I guarantee you that shit is going to melt. I mean, it's plasticky. I mean, it's just, uh, I know in terms of chips, you know, I built computers, I do stuff. I know pretty much how they work. I know, you know, there's heating and stuff is horrible. And, uh, you know, I don't recommend every day putting this even in an oven. But what I'm saying is, this is, this is much more durable. And I mean, you could just go and feel it. You could feel the difference in any store so go out there check it out uh, subscribe like whatever uh, hate <laughs> give me thumbs down give me thumbs up whatever you guys want to do uh, just let me know uh, you know if you felt the difference see what it is uh, I'm a fanboy like I said so maybe it is biased but uh, I'd like to get you know some input from people that are not biased so I can see exactly what you guys think I just had my time with the uh, Samsung Galaxy because friends of mine were telling me on Facebook hey try it it's much better and all that good stuff so I had uh, time to test it out I did not like it at all the only thing I liked is the fact that you could customize it but gel breaks are what it's you know what's gonna fix that and make it and then you're gonna have the better overall phone also the battery life let's not forget that a lot of people say it's the same battery life the guy in the store told me that it's not so I don't know uh, you guys have to test it he said that you know I mean even though I didn't buy this from the store from his store so he had no reason to lie to me I don't see the reason to but he told me that the iPhone 5 you know shoots out now in terms of price obviously the Samsung Galaxy is really cheap for what you're getting so I would say you know it, it, it is the best bang for your buck the Galaxy but if you're going to you know for the more expensive phones you're gonna get I'm telling you this is worth every damn penny and a lot of people out there are like, oh, it makes a, it only takes two hundred and fifty dollars to make. Yeah, well, an atomic bomb takes a couple of pennies to make. You know, you know how much money it's going to cost when they sell, try to, if they ever try to sell that. It doesn't matter how much it costs to make. It's the quality you're getting in your hands. Okay, so you're paying for this service for this quality. I mean, if you look at it, it has such a nice finish all around. It's like it's shut like airtight. It's crazy. But I do recommend getting a case, even though people have dropped it threw it up in the air and dropped it all the way down and it, the screen didn't crack. Uh, I, I had never had a problem with screens cracking on me at all. But I always get cases. I got the OtterBox for my iPhone 4, wherever the hell it is, I don't know, but it was like a basic one. For this one, I'm getting the Defender. I'm going to do a review on that as well. So, uh, uh, like I said, uh, subscribe, do whatever you got to do. Uh, let me know also, put in the descriptions. Let me know what you think uh, about the iPhone 5 versus the uh, Samsung Galaxy. Uh, in terms of the earphones here, guys, I mean, I could do a full review on it because it'll take so long to talk about it. But in a nutshell, I'm just going to say it was really designed for your ears. It's not like the old crappy one that they gave with the 4 that just is round and it's just annoying. This thing sticks right into your freaking eardrum. <laughs> uh, I don't know how healthy it is for your ears if you're playing music blasting loud. But I think it's also cool that they included all this. Uh, now, in, in terms of speakers, uh, the speakers are bigger here, and I found it louder than the 4, but I found it a little bit, just a little bit louder than the 4S, not that much of a difference. So, to those who own the 4S, I'm going to tell you guys, stick to the 4S. I don't see why you should upgrade. I mean, this is a completely different phone. A lot of people think it's just a cheap upgrade. It's not. It's a completely different phone different phone the only thing that's the same is the iOS everything else in this is completely different from the camera from the a6 chip from the from the screen size you know everything is completely different 
but I would still stick to the 4S because it could pretty much do everything this thing does, you know, for now until they release crazy ass games like they usually do what they did with my 4 and things were lagging and stuff like that. So I don't see why you should upgrade to that, but for those of the 4S, I think you should wait for the upgrade for the 5S, you know, or anything like that. Now, also another recommendation. I think every time a new one comes out, you should sell this. Keep the old one, like I'm keeping my 4. So when I sell this, you know, I could buy the 5S. But keep upgrading, it's like graphics cards. So like that, you know, if you wait too long, this thing is going to be worth like 100 bucks, And you're going to have to pay like, you know, thousand, you know $1,600 for a new phone. It's, it's just stupid, it's unheard of. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, guys, do that. I know in the Apple Store there's a long waiting line, a line for this crap. So here's my advice to you. Get it off, uh, you know, try to buy it from the UK. Uh, they have UK dealers that uh, deal with American phones. You can find it, uh, you know, everywhere. This is an American-made phone covered by the warranty of America of the Apple Store. I went to the Apple Store, and they said it's legit uh, just by that. So I'm telling you, and I got this at a real great price. Uh in respect to my friend who you know sold this to me I'm not gonna tell you unfortunately how much it is but I'm sure you guys could find out you know uh, on the website and see exactly how much you could get them for uh, in any website and believe me you'll get it much cheaper than you get it in Apple or anywhere else and you don't have to wait in line there is a convenience fee there's no doubt if you don't want to wait you're gonna have to pay a little bit more than 800 whatever dollars but trust me this is unlocked so you can go anywhere in the world with this piece of crap, and you're going to be happy. And also, you could go to any uh, GSM carrier uh, serv uh, service, uh, like T-Mobile, AT&T. Uh, now, Metro PCS is go going with T-Mobile. So, I mean, you guys are getting, uh, you know, it, the unlocked is definitely the way to go, the factory unlocked. Don't forget that. Okay, this one is not factory unlocked. I had so many problems with Jevy Sims, uh, you know, just losing connection. I'm not getting any connection for hours, and that's the real reason I bought that. Otherwise, I could care less, to be honest. But, uh, like I said, I'm a, tech, a techno geek also, so I probably, you know, would probably await it till this became cheaper. But I got it right now because I, I was in need for a new phone. So, anyways, guys, uh, like I said, leave whatever you got to leave. Have a good one.